Let me just zoom in. There we go. Looking good, looking good. It's a little crooked, but we're all right. Hey guys, coming at you with another travel video. Let's talk about solo travel. What is it about solo travel? Should you do it? Do I recommend it? What was my experience like? What do I think about it overall? If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are considering going on a solo travel adventure. And if you are, I bid you well. I think that's awesome. I recommend that everybody solo travel at least once in your life. Even if you are planning on going to another state and getting like renting a cabin for a weekend and just getting away and like being by yourself and learning a, a new city, a new location. There's just something about it that makes you feel so much more self-sufficient, so much more introspective, and really just kind of strengthens you as a person. It blows my mind when I hear people tell me that they've never been on a trip by themselves or they've never like gone somewhere by themselves because I just think that it's such an enriching experience. I want to get into like some kind of points before I just start babbling on because you know me, I will just start going wherever my head takes me and I won't make any sense. Reasons you should consider solo traveling. You should consider solo traveling if you are in a place in life where you are not tied down. If you do not have children, if you don't have a husband or a wife, if you don't really have any solid family ties where you're at, you're young, you're healthy, you're fit, you're in good condition all around, and you're just hungry to see the world, then by all means, Means go and see the world. Figure out a way to save up money and travel or find a job abroad or learn different ways to travel for a very low price. There are ways to do it. You just have to go find out for yourself. Do the research. We all had to do it. Yes, I could sit here and I might, I might make a video about um, different ways that you can travel for free or travel on a budget. Uh, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments and leave a like on this video. As, as much as I want to sit here and like tell you all of the things that you can do, I don't know you as a person, as an individual. There are so many people who might watch this and all of you might have different reasons for why you want to solo travel, what your situations are, and what your life will allow you to do. So I don't necessarily think it's the best idea to log on to YouTube and like listen to one person tell you how to travel for free. I think it's something that, yeah, you kind of just have to put in the work and like do your research and figure out what works the best for you. For me, it was not couch surfing, it wasn't working abroad, it was being a flight attendant just because I liked the idea of being based somewhere, whether it was at home or in another state, um, and then being able to kind of fly back to my home base. Um, at the end of a trip. So that was my preference. That's what I decided to do. Um, I know other people are different. Maybe they want to be abroad for long periods of time. Maybe you're not close to your family like I am. Really just depends. I also think that you should solo travel if you have a good head on your shoulders. And what I mean by that is I don't necessarily think it's a great idea for someone who might not be in the best place emotionally to just go travel the world by themselves. It takes a pretty strong person to do it. I feel like you you kind of have to have a pretty strong moral compass, a pretty strong sense of self. Um, and I say this because when I first started traveling, I was in a, not a very good place in life and it wasn't like on a whim, I just decided I'm gonna go travel the world. It was just something I had really always wanted to do and I knew that I was at the perfect age, the perfect time in my life to do it. So I was like, it's now or never baby, let's do this. But at the same time, I was very heartbroken. So I had just gone through a really bad heartbreak in my life. I just didn't really know who I was as a person, as a woman as a person of faith. Um, I was just on this really tight rope and I, I didn't really know which way I was going. I just knew that I wanted to move forward, if that makes sense. Point is, I wish that when I had started traveling by myself, 
that I had a stronger sense of self because I think I would have made a lot less mistakes when I was traveling. I, I'm not saying don't travel if you're in a bad place in life. Sometimes that's the best way to just get out of your hometown. Um, I think that's that's a great thing. But when I'm what I'm talking about is long-term solo travel. So for an entire summer or for months on end, should you go backpacking or should you, you know, travel Europe for a, a semester? It's really just gonna depend on you, your situation, and what it is that you're looking for on your solo travel adventure. This is again just my perspective, the things that I learned, but I also know that a lot of other people kind of have experienced the same thing, so let's talk about it. Number one, obviously you learn about yourself. You learn your likes, your dislikes, the things you enjoy doing when you're solo traveling, the things you definitely don't enjoy doing, the people you like hanging out with. You learn a lot about your preferences as a person, more so than I feel like what you grew up around. So when you're kind of in the same place all your life, it's not that you're taught to like certain things it's just that it's all you know really so in a way it's like you live your life you have the things that you like in your life and the things you don't but traveling by yourself brings out this whole new side of you that you will learn and it'll open your eyes to really what you enjoy as a person and that can be in any kind of category or department music movies food TV activities sports it'll just kind of help you navigate life better because you'll be drawn towards the things that you enjoy and it kind of just shapes you as a person. Before I get to the next point, I want to say a thank you to Renzo Box for sponsoring this video. You guys, I have been waiting for my Renzo Box for weeks, months, no, months now. And if you're wondering what that box is behind me, that's my Renzo box. And yes, I waited for you to open it. It has been sitting there for like three days now. And every day I have to look at it and practice self-control to not open it because I wanted to open it with you. All right guys, are you ready for this? <gasps> Gosh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Let's see what's in here first. Ooh, fun things. Ooh, matte lipstick, cute. <gasps> Mascara. And then we have a little fun little gift here. Look at that. Oh, these are the, okay. These are the foundations that I use. So I'll put that down. Let's open this one. So what is the Renzo box? The Renzo box is the answer to all of your makeup problems when you are traveling. Let me explain. A lot of our makeup contains extra product that we don't use. For example, I use the Anastasia um, contour palette. Now, I only use like two at most three of the shades that come in that whole palette. My favorite highlight in the whole world, I've told you guys, is the Too Faced highlight, but it's very big and bulky. Let me explain what Renee, the founder of Renzo Box, has done. With her beautiful architect brain, she has decided enough is enough. We women have been digging through our makeup bags for far too long. And so she created a modular makeup box. Now what this does is you can custom order each of the colors or pigments that you use in your entire makeup bag and customize it into one box. Like what? Where has this been all my life? So the Renzo box has a top compartment, which is where all the pods go. So you can customize it however you want. You can put your highlight, your blush, your favorite eyeshadows that you go to. On top of it, it's perfect for traveling because it's so tiny and it's so compact and everything is like right in front of you. You don't have to dig. It's not bulky, it's not heavy. And then there's like this sneaky snake little compartment right where the hinge is and that's where you store all of your makeup brushes. Like, genius, genius design. And then there's the bottom compartment where you can put any kind of like mascara or eyeliner or maybe like a mini eyelash curler, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever it is, that's where you put that. I even thought like it was gonna be hard to get a Renzo box because I have like a weird skin tone where I'm not like light but I'm not dark. So I do sometimes wear a mix of two colors. They were like, not a problem. We'll just send you two little mini like containers for your foundations 
fill those guys up and they'll fit right perfectly in that bottom compartment. The fact that this box exists has changed the game. Just the box in general is so elegant looking. I would bring this anywhere with me and it would be okay because of how pretty it is. I am telling you right now, if you are a traveler who wears a good amount of makeup like me and enjoys bringing your makeup with you on your travels, this box is definitely for you. And if you know someone who might want this box just in general, like as a female out in the world, please get this for them. I'm telling you, you're gonna make their life so much easier. I think so many women have been waiting for something like this, but we just didn't think of it ourselves. And finally, we have a boss babe female architect who took it upon herself to make life easier for all of us. So thank you to Renzo Box for sponsoring this video. Video. and if you guys would like to get in on the Black Friday deal, which I highly recommend because it's really awesome, definitely go to the description box below, get it for your wife, your sister, yourself. You're gonna get a starter kit, so it's gonna be this box for $99, which is an insane deal. Ooh, check it out, unlock $25 off, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, take a selfie of you and your Renzo box, and post a video of you unboxing your Renzo box. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> You learn about your strengths and your weaknesses. This is a huge one. I think everybody kind of learns about their strengths and weaknesses um, when you're traveling by yourself because you are by yourself. You don't have someone telling you what to do. You don't have someone giving their input. It's you out there with the world, with problems, having to fight them by yourself. Literally having to take back roads to go find a bathroom. Having to navigate your way through a city. Having to find a cheap hotel that you know where someone's not gonna stab you sometimes your weaknesses will come out and you will start to recognize them right away when you're out there in the world you are very aware of the things that you're not good at for me as many of you know it was directions I couldn't find my way through a city for the life of me without my GPS Thank God for the iPhone, because it had it not been for my iPhone, I would probably be in a ditch somewhere that is so morbid and depressing, but it's the truth. Another weakness of mine that I learned was that I wouldn't speak up for myself. This was something that I learned over time, um, that I kind of learned how to say no, and I learned how to put my foot down, and I learned how to voice my opinion before I would kind of just like go with the flow and let everyone else make the decisions, and I was just, hey, like I'm gonna follow along. But you know, you can't you can't do that when you're solo traveling. Girlfriend, you gotta, you gotta know what it is that you are there for. You gotta know what you won't do. You gotta know what you will do. And you gotta know who your people are. You just can't be a yes man when you're traveling. As much as that sounds adventurous and fun, you gotta, you gotta learn how to do you, does that make sense? I feel like that didn't make sense, but it makes sense to me. Moving on. Okay, so the next point kind of ties into that, but you learn how to be street smart. You learn how to be savvy. You learn how to protect yourself in dangerous situations or avoid them altogether. Um, especially as a female traveling alone, you, you need to know where your resources are and travel smart. I mean, you just can't go anywhere and just expect it to be like sisterhood of the traveling pants, I'm in Greece, let me just meet a cute Greek guy and like float off in a boat with him. Like that doesn't happen. You learn how to budget. So budgeting is a huge thing that I learned. There are times when you are solo traveling where you're gonna run low on the moolah. And the only thing that's gonna save you that night is a bowl of ramen noodles from the dollar store, okay? You're gonna have to push every last dollar, euro, pound, wherever it is that you are. I mean, unless you are rich and unless you have the means to travel luxuriously, 80% of the rest of us, you know, we, we're, we're on a budget and we're trying to travel. We, we don't got that moolah. So and a very self-explanatory one is you learn how to appreciate other cultures and you meet people in the middle where they're at. So when you are back in your home country or your home state, 
you kind of have more compassion and more empathy towards the world in general because you've been to those places that you hear about or you've experienced a, a connection with a person from a country or a state that is being talked about in maybe a bad way or has a bad reputation. It kind of removes all of those social biases that we have like ingrained into us from, from when we were children. And it really helps you to see people and the world as they truly are. One thing that I really learned upon my solo, solo travels was how to just enjoy my own company, how to go to the movies by myself, which I still do by the way, um, how to just enjoy a meal by myself. Alongside of this, there comes the loneliness part of solo travel, which definitely exists. Hate to break it to you, it's totally a thing and you're gonna experience it, so you just have to learn how to navigate it. I think that it's a good thing to experience the loneliness because there are gonna be days where you're in a different country, you don't know anybody and you have to go eat by yourself and everybody else is having fun with their friends and you see a bunch of people laughing around you and you see couples making out and you're just sitting there by yourself eating your calzone you know wondering when that lucky person is gonna walk into your life <laughs> Sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, please leave any questions in the comments below as well as give this video a like. If you want to solo travel, you will do it. You will figure out a way to do it if that's what you really want. I have no doubt in that. I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers.